Okay. Yeah, we got another tree. We're gonna hopefully get a good view of it. And there it goes. Timber! What the? Not another leaner. Looks like it's just hanging there though, eh? Yeah. It's just on the branches so it'll come down. We just gotta stay out of that area now. I'm gonna have to get to my, uh, come along, pull it over, eh? Pretty rough. Pretty rough, eh? Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's... What the heck happened here? Hang on a minute. There. Okay, that's the trail we just... Uh, that's the cabin back that way. And there's Mexican hat. This is where our, what the hell that thing is, some kind of no shooting, no trespassing. They call it Mexican hat. And then from here on, well it seems the camera's cold or something. There's, now we're just going to go, go up here, we go a little ways to the highway and then from there into town. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, it's really, first off, it's really warm today. It's like, what, 
eight degrees or something. Minus eight. I don't know, something like that. And it's, uh, well, it's, nothing's really melting, but we're just like, we realize too, we've only got another seven days to go. So, in that seven days, we've got to, first off, the, the site is clean, so we've got to take all these logs and make sure that they're, there's at least 40, maybe 45 logs over on site. And the only way we're going to do that is we're going to have to haul them. What we're doing is we're, we're grabbing center here. And we're leaving a stack here. This is our high line. The end of this high line, then we switch our high line over. We cut it loose over there. Whip it over towards the road there. You can see there's two there that are pretty visible there. There's a, actually a stack of five there. So we're going to bring all these logs over that way. And then we've got to transfer our high line one more time so that we put it in the middle of the, of the skidoo trail. And then after that, we just it's a matter of just hauling them into sight. So we've got to get going here. We've only got a week to go. So we realize that there's no way we can peel them, peel them all, and move them onto site. We're only doing maybe, what was our best, four in one day? Yeah. Right? So the, there's no way we could do it if we had another month, maybe. But this way here, we're just going to put them, we throw, uh, throw them on that big, we throw them on the big, uh, the big cart and that takes most of the weight and then we on the front end side of it then we then we bring it in so uh this is what we're going to be have to do we're going to we only got a week like i say to, to get and 40 logs 45 logs over there on site so that marcel can come by there in the summertime when he has time and peel and then he can also take care of the foundation so instead of trying to put it and uh, put it together and then dig underneath and try to mess around with the foundation. This way, you'll be able to put the foundation up. So coming this uh, this next winter, next March, hopefully, eh? About that. We can uh, start peeling, or the logs should be peeled then, and then we'll just put them together, and, and uh, we got that that uh, shrink fit notch that we that I got taught in, back in Cochrane, and uh, be able to put it together, and it'll look really sweet. Plus the foundation, you'll already have uh, taken care of. Save yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess that's about it. I don't know. It's just go, go, go for the next week. Because like it's at the end of March, it's right now it is the 22nd of March, 2007. And uh, we've got, we've got, uh, we've got uh, trees dropping loads of snow here. But uh, we've got another seven days, maybe eight. You got to leave on the 30th? Yeah, so we've got seven days from this date to get 40 logs over on site. Now, if, if the weather doesn't get too much more warmer than this, we should be good with that skidoo. If it starts melting, and, and you know, we're going to have a hell of a time getting these over there. So right now, it's just kind of like a, kind of a letdown because we can't get the cabin going. Uh, you're kind of turning it the wrong way here. Anyway, uh let down because you can't get the cabin going but uh you know we'll get the logs over there and that's part of the that'll be a big part of it anyway because everything will be there then I'll, we'll hook up some high lines like this over there so we're talking just hook up with one log right dead center and uh you'll be able to just to pick it up you don't have to do any any uh, back breaking work because this will take care of the whole the entire weight of the log if we can pick it now where it's just wet when it dries out in a couple of months or a month, whatever, it'll be even lighter by that much. Eh? I'm not sure it's not going to dry out that freaking much because we read in this book that uh, even in the best arid conditions, it takes six to seven years for the log to totally dry out. So, yeah, see, these, these loads are starting to. I think what they're doing is the heat is kind of shrinking them up, so then they, they're, they're actually heavier on the branch or they. Condense. They're all dropping them all over the place here. Okay, well that's about it, and uh, we'll ch we'll check out the site afterwards and uh, show you how we're what what uh, progress we've made there. Okay, end of end of it for now. <laughs>